Oh man, based off this title and thumbnail, I can see the comments rolling in. First of all, why the hell are you even making a video like this? You're a grown ass man, brah, gun, cock man. I mean, to be honest with you sis, I don't even appreciate the fact that you're body shaming me by saying that I need a bra, okay? I feel really insecure about my body now. And what in the hell is a gun cock, man? What, what, I mean, what are you saying? The fact that there's an entire YouTube video discussing how women dress just shows how lifeless you are. Just because you have a beard and hung the Lord's name on your wall doesn't really make you a better Muslim. Maybe if you spent that time reading how the Prophet spread Islam and his way of talking to people instead of wasting it judging others, we would have a better image of our religion. I wish there were less people like you pointing fingers at others instead of trying to fix themselves. Okay, Munira, all right, I appreciate you and your feedback with your one eye Illuminati uh, pose in your display picture, and I agree with you. There should be less people like me because, to be honest, between you and me, just to keep it real between us, there's just too much. They're just. They're just uh, come on, Jessica, get it together! <sighs> Sorry. There's just too much sexy sunnah happening in one frame. I'm just wondering like two things. The, the first being, why on earth are you a man talking about a woman's connection to modesty? Like you need to stop mansplaining. Second off, why on earth are you backbiting on social media? You can't just pretend you're a good Muslim if you're not doing things like this in public. I mean, you're right. You're absolutely right. How the hell? I'm so stupid. I didn't realize I was mansplaining and abusing my male privilege nay my muslim male privilege and you're right sister you're right i need to stop acting like i'm some good perfect muslim and i'm done with acting and living this double life it's about that time way of life sq keeping it a hundred assalamu alaikum welcome back to my youtube channel and man oh man that was a long intro. I am just so blessed, humbled, and grateful to Allah that He sent you to this video today. If you haven't gathered from the thumbnail and the title, this video will be about the hijabi YouTuber named Amina, who is super popular on the digital space, uh, taking off her hijab. Recently, Amina shocked the YouTube world to the degree that her video was trending on YouTube. Yes, I said it trending on YouTube when she announced that she decided to take off her hijab. No, this is not going to be another man telling you how you should or shouldn't be wearing the hijab or how you need to wear the hijab. That's not what this video is going to be about. It's going to be taking a look at that video from Amina and dissecting it and seeing what lessons can we take for goodness from that video. While this video is taking place, please make sure that you're pausing this video to drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Hi lovelies, how are you? Oh lovelies, oh lovely, shovely, oh I'm lovely now, mashallah, lovely. I feel like the incongruity of my not wearing it in my personal life and then putting it on for my you know, online videos, it didn't feel right. So wait, are you telling me that you don't even wear the hijab in the privacy of your own home? No, idiot. She's saying that she personally doesn't wear it anymore. The only time she does wear it is to shoot or record a video. Living a double life is not easy. And shout out to her for being self-aware enough to realize that, look, I'm not keeping it real with myself or with my YouTube online space community. And you know what? I, I respect the fact that she was self-aware enough to realize that she's got to keep it 100 with herself and the community. It's not good for you and it's honestly, it's actually not good for me or my sanity to be more precise. So I feel like this is now the right time to make this video. Hang on a second guys. Let's just understand this. She said that she's taken off her hijab. Let's not think that she said that I stopped praying. You get what I'm saying? She's saying I took off the headscarf, but it's not like she's saying I don't pray anymore. And, and then let's just put that into perspective for a second, all right? I started to wear the headscarf. I started to wear my hijab when I was 22 years old. A lot of you know this. It was a spur of the moment decision and it surprised quite a lot of people in my life. And now I've decided to stop wearing the hijab. Again, it was a fairly spur of the moment decision and I know that it's gonna surprise a lot of people in my life. God damn, Sister Amina. So many surprises. I mean, take it easy on the surprises. You're making it seem like it's my birthday or something with all these surprises. Hey, celebrating birthdays are haram. This is why I tell brothers and sisters when it comes to the hijab or a beard 
Take your time with these decisions because though it is important within our deen, the most important thing to develop within a person at first is the taqwa, is the oneness of Allah, is the consciousness of Allah. That's the number one priority because once that really, you know, is the foundation and fundamentals of your heart, these physical attributes will start manifesting themselves. But if you're someone who is thinking about wearing the hijab and adapting that now, you know, you might want to just try it around maybe on the weekends or maybe on Juma, and then you gradually build it in your lifestyle but the worst thing that you can do is just make a quick emotional decision and just think that hey that's what's best because we want the headscarf and the beards to stay on ourselves not come off one day I was wearing it at the time and so I shared with you guys often when I would get requests right on how I wore my how I styled my hijab alongside other videos those of you who have been following me from back then honestly it just seems like her hijab tutorial videos just started getting more views and doing well and sister amina got pigeonholed into making this brand and lifestyle around something that was very personal to her but that's not all or who she only is she's more than her hijab and it just seems like she got pigeonholed into making this type of content because she saw what kind of traction views and how much in demand these types of videos were and this is what i talk to my bros ishan from salt agenda about all the time that i don't want to pigeonhole myself into one type of content that's why you always see me experimenting and testing and trying new content on this page because i just don't want to be known as that one dimensional type of dude as long as it pleases allah it adheres to the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu and it's within the parameters of islam i want to produce whatever content i want to produce i mean i've made content before where i've said that your goodness or your religiosity can't be measured by like external things that 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 other people often tend to judge and quantify. You know what I mean? You're right. We shouldn't judge people for these outwardly things because taqwa and sincerity is something that only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can judge. But also let's not downplay the importance of the hijab. No, am I suggesting that you're doing that? But let's also remember that hijab is ordained by Allah. It's not like someone just made it up like women have to cover their heads. That's not how this works. Like it's really something from Allah that he ordained for women out of his wisdom that this is something that women need to wear. Now you or someone else might not be there spiritually. You might not be ready for that change as of yet. But let's never think that it's something that it's not important, nor am I suggesting you're saying that. Women have a right to choose what they do with, like we have a choice with what we do with our bodies and that choice is entirely 100% ours. I'm a massive believer in female autonomy, especially where it comes to our bodies and the way that we live our lives. Of course, Amina, we all have a choice and the choice is are we going to obey Allah or are we not going to obey Allah and you don't answer to me or some dude named Joe 69 on Instagram or YouTube you answer to Allah just like we all answer to Allah and there's going to be a dedicated day to reward or punish us for the choices that we've made in this dunya but I just, I just, I just can't remember what that day was I, it's important I know it's important but I just can't I can't I just can't figure out what that day is, but it'll come to me later, I promise. Plus, I know that words can be misunderstood and misconstrued very easily, especially on the internet. And I'm sure even this video will be, but um, I'm willing to take that risk because I feel like you guys, I feel like I owe that to you. Hell yeah, Sister Amina, you owe me. You remember those 10 pounds you borrowed from me to get that donor kebab and that Lucasade? I'm still waiting for those 10 pounds! apologize if this video is upsetting to any of you or if I've gone about it the wrong way or I've used the wrong words or... You know what I mean? Now that you mention it, it is kind of upsetting. It is upsetting that you didn't go about it the right way. And the right way was to include that plant on your right a little bit more in the frame. It's annoying me! But seriously, Amina, you definitely did go about it the right way. I mean, it's such an original video to just sit down in front of the camera, no cuts, 20 minutes straight talking to the camera about your challenges and why you decided to take the hijab. I mean, I can't think of any other YouTuber who has done it just like you've done it. So thank you for being original.
honestly, I really can't imagine what she goes through in any other hijabi YouTuber, blogger, or whatever. Like, I don't know what they go through because I can only imagine the comments that you receive that you're not wearing it correctly. And when you think or feel like you are wearing it correctly, but not according to what people want you or how they want you to wear it. And then when it comes off, they're just like, well, you weren't wearing it correctly in the first place. So it's like, you can't win either way. And it can be annoying. I know the other big question that people might be asking is about Pearl Daisy. Yes! Yes, sister I mean, Exactly! Yes! Tell me about Pearl Daisy! That's exactly why I clicked this video, man. Like, I was just, I, I saw the thumbnail and the title and I, my first thought was like, hey, what's gonna happen to our hijab empire? Pearl Daisy, now that she's not herself wearing the hijab, that's exactly why I clicked the video. <laughs> No, 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 that's not the reason why I clicked the video. I clicked the video to find out why you took off the hijab, which technically you still haven't told us why you took off the hijab, except by saying that it was a personal reason, even though you haven't specifically told us yet, you've made a video dedicated sort of to it, in which you made a 20 minute video slapping a whole ton of ads in between. But I'm still waiting to find out why you took off the hijab. But I also know that if I were to like be fake and like, wear my scarf online and not wear it offline and and kind of have that dual that that duality i think would that's the thing that would make me really unhappy you know i mean are you living a double life and how no one wants to live a double life it could be very annoying and fake to yourself and to others but let's remember that happiness needs to be obtained in putting allah's pleasure first that's what needs to be our source and our link and root of happiness pleasing Allah and not focusing on pleasing ourselves because pleasing Allah is what needs to give us pleasure but I have news for you that takes time to get to that level not everyone's there but that needs to be our aim to get to let's remember the shaitan is our enemy literally his job is to take us away from the straight path and whenever we're on that straight path the shaitan is going to come and distract us put a lot of thoughts of overthinking in our minds just so that we stop getting closer to allah because that's what he doesn't want to happen her hijab might have come off but her iman is still on her you know like she's talking about taking off the hijab but in no way shape or form is she saying that she stopped praying you know so make dua for her assume the best in her and instead of leaving hate comments down in the comment section below about how upset you are instead make some dua for her keep it in an open mind that what if the same way in the spur of a moment surprised everyone by taking it off maybe she has another spur of the moment surprises everyone and puts it back on that's a perspective that you and I have to be open to, adhering to. And if you're someone who is struggling to wear the hijab or to keep your beard, just remember to realign your intentions. Renew your intentions and remind yourself as to why you're doing it. And if you are struggling with these things, remember the reward for you particularly for this is much higher than the person who doesn't struggle to wear the hijab or have the beard. And in the wise words of Mufti Mank, Every woman who is listening to me now, you are on a certain level. Maintain that level if it is within the frame of the Sharia, with an intention of getting to the next one and strive towards getting to the next one. Meaning when I say maintain it, meaning don't go back on it. That's what I meant. If Allah has granted you the ability to put a scarf on your head, don't ever remove it and try to get to the next stage. If Allah has granted you the ability to wear a niqab, don't ever remove it and try to get to the next stage. And here's what I need you guys to do. I need you guys to leave wherever you're seated right now. Go get up out of your seat. Go to the bathroom, make some fresh wudu. And while that wudu is still glistening from your skin and your sins are dropping off from your fingers and your nose and your mouth, I need you to smash that like button. I appreciate you guys so much for spending some time with me today. If you'd like to spend a little bit more time with me, please click any one of these videos right here. If you benefited from this video and uh, you'd like to spend a little bit more time with me, consider subscribing by hitting this button right here. And until next time, I'm out.